I'm confused about Debian and Arch because I'm all in for stability, you know, always. Yeah, yeah. So I don't understand why you would run Arch then. Like, okay, so you need the latest and greatest. And I, I'm like, but why? Why do I need the latest and greatest? If it works, if I install OBS and it works, why do yeah. I want to update frequently? So I don't get the point of Arch. Can you just explain to me, like a five-year-old, like, what's the benefit of Arch? Does it break? Is it good? Yeah, there's like three or four things we can jump into. First thing I'll say is kind of a weird thing, but like when you load up an Arch, let's just install Arch, and you just load up like a window manager, you don't need to mess with the policy kit at all. And what I mean by that is like, let's say you plug in a um, like external hard drive into your machine on Arch, uh, out of the box, pretty much their policy kit stuff is set to where you can just open whatever's on that, um, on that like hard drive without having to check a policy or, you know, set up a policy kit or whatever. But on Debian, like it's, it's an administrator, I think it's a sysadmin distro really. So like, they're going to make sure you have to like def- set up a policy kit and, you know, do all this, that, and the other, just to open up a external hard drive. But that for me is like already enough friction to call it like you know, well, I don't need to fight my operating system. I, I'm going to use that a lot today. I don't want to fight my operating system, right? So if I'm on Debian and I have to like tell a policy kit to say, hey, you know, allow me to open my hard drive because it's my it's me using my desktop. I'm not going to be happy about that. You know what I mean? Are there any conspiracy theories against <laughs> Debian? I have heard that it's influenced probably by other companies that support it or maybe I dreamt about it. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about like, uh, you know, the global conspiracy about Debian and what's going on with like people that are pushing it. But again, I will just harken back to when anybody ever tells me that they use Debian because it's stable, and then I ask them why is it stable, and they can't give me a cohesive answer. Question: Is it actually stable? And I asked you earlier, and you gave me a pretty good answer. You said, "Hey, it's I don't want to worry about security updates. I just want to like every six months run you know pseudo apt update, then my colon like pseudo apt upgrade or whatever, right?" And I get, I get that. That's totally cool. But that, that would be you giving me a satisfactory answer saying, yeah, it's stable. But most people don't know that. They just say it's stable because it's stable, which is a tautology, right? I just don't, I don't buy into that. So for me personally, when I run Debian 13 and it's like the worst experience ever, like I can't get NeoVim 11, I have policy <laughs> kit issues. I'm just like, why is this, is this stable for what? What is this stable for? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Like, like, what are we talking about? It's like, oh no, no problem, bro. Like, and you, you start Googling how to get version 11 and you say, oh, get this flat pack or get this snap. And I'm like, what? I don't want to do all this. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is not stable. This is making me feel unstable. You know what I mean? So, 